Hey y'all, it is I back again sharing some more of my hoarded hoarding pandemic COVID-19 coronavirus groceries that I keep stocking up on because I must be a grocery shopaholic. But really, I didn't buy everything at one time. So anyway, over time, I'm just collecting things that we're going to need. So my hoarding is in sections. <laughs> anyway, I'm blessed to have what I have. And I do try to get the best deals. And I do try to shop, you know, for stuff on sale and cheap stuff like that. But anyway... I do my research and I'm online. Yeah, I'm online hoarding, grocery shopping, spree, shopaholic, pandemic, corona, COVID-19, coronavirus, grocery shopping hunter. And I do get my the mission accomplished to find the groceries and stuff I need. I know what I said and just not did not make any sense. But what I'm doing right now is sharing with you some of our wheat belly grains the grains and i know i left off with telling you guys i was organizing another one of my hoarding shelves for canned goods and whatever else i can situate on that shelf i'm not done yet so i just came in here to let you guys know and just share some of the grain products that i have i don't have the rice up here because it's just like i said it's just so much i can't put it all up here because uh i'm poor and i can't afford a table really being poor is really not it's just an excuse that's not the real reason why i can't show everything because i told y'all i used to coupon and i got rid of my table in order to put these shelves up so what i'm showing y'all my shelves take up the space because there's a couponer you gotta have some shelves and you gotta have space to stash and stuff all these things that couponers do they just get the fever and you get all excited when you find them deals and cheap and free that you just can't help yourself and you keep stocking and stocking you get every space crack corner crevice is somewhere to shove and and put stuff so when i re took uh, my table out here i placed it with some shelves and that's how i set my stuff on because i still I'm couponer. Coupon is still in my blood. I just do it differently because in California, they don't have them good coupons no more. I can't get $300, $400 worth of groceries for $2 paying just tax anymore. So I just do what I need. And my kids are grown. So anyway, it's just my husband and I. Wow, you got all that food for just you and her. Hell, my kids might need some. So hey, they come by and get whatever they need. I don't mind. I get, Please, come on now. Anyway. These are the grains, some of my grains. I got Aunt your Mama Cornmeal. Yes, they still got it out there. And yes, I do like this brand, but the um they have to quit putting the black lady on there because you know it ain't correct no more. They say they don't need to be putting her her black face all on these products. They're gonna change a lot of products of um with um it's like racism. You can't be using black folks to advertise your products and stuff like that like uncle ben and that uh butter i can't think of certain stuff because early in the morning i just got up and i wish my brain would work as fast as my mouth was running but sometimes it just ain't that way because they saying this coronavirus can affect us in several ways by the way i did get tested and I, my test is negative so i'm glad i did that in the in the when you get that test they shove that thing down your nose and they poke it down in there dabbing it trying to collect mucus whatever to go have it tested but i'm glad i got it over with i get that i got to go back to the dentist sharing too much information but anyway yeah a lot going on but these are my grains let me switch switch back i got aunt your mama cornmeal aunt your mama pancake waffle mix i got the original and the buttermilk i got my gold medal self-rising flour I have several bags of these and y'all know i already got the buttermilk powdered buttermilk and I got the um, powdered uh, heavy cream. And I got the um, powdered butter, powdered butter. And yes, I've used these products and I really like them. And you know, so anyway. And I have this big old thing of Quaker oatmeal. And I have the three bags of the Quaker grits. I have some more fish fry, chicken fry. I still got the um, 
we got the, the um bisquick and i don't have my rice noodles pasta and all that other stuff up here because ain't no room remember keep that in mind janita used to be a coupon and she can't show all her stuff because her table gone and she got shelves and replace it that because she got coupons still in her blood so y'all remember that when y'all be checking out my videos but anyway I'm glad to share my grains with y'all. This is part of my hoarded groceries that I'm collecting in case of emergency. Because you know how people say you can, if you got a barbecue pit or whatever, a can, throw some stones, throw some wood, some leaves, and you can make a fire, you can cook. And you got to have water and flashlights, candles, whatever you can use. Ever that's you know would be great for an emergency situation i know people getting guns and ammunition and all kind of stuff going on to stay get prepared for whatever going hazard and whatever craziness gonna go down in the rest for the rest of this year i hope y'all stay safe and get prepared because this is my i'm gonna be a hoarder for life Cause I got to take care of me and I don't care if my kids are grown. They can come over here and get whatever they want. All this food and stuff. Cause they know I got a special diet. I can't eat all this stuff. And uh, it's just like that. So anyway, for the people that was calling me a hoarder before I called myself a hoarder. Thank you very much. I'm very proud to be a hoarder. And I do the best whatever I do. I do my best. I don't know if I said welcome back all my supporters. Shout out to all the new and, uh, and my um, regular um, supporting supporters. Thank you very much for coming back each and every time. Thumbsing up my video. Sharing my video. Whatever it takes to um, be supportive. Because I'm very supportive of y'all. Like I said, y'all videos are on my playlist. Check it out. I thumb you up. I do everything I can to help support you. All I can say is I'm being a blessing. I say in my prayers, Lord, let me be a blessing to others. And sometimes I feel a certain way, but then I can't get my blessing if I don't stay blessing to be a blessing to others. So I continue to thumbs up. I continue to share your videos. You know, I'm not all. Now, I won't probably do them all, but every now and then I'll share your videos. I know I'm rambling on, but y'all keep Googling the news. Black folks lives matter to me and i keep you know in my prayers all this stuff going on but folks keep saying it's some serious stuff but whatever go down god got my back if it's my time it's my time because it's gonna be way better than where where i'm going from here but god our our, our flesh our fleshly bodies are is a gift you no know, the last shall be first and the first shall be last. So have fun on earth while y'all getting all y'all blessings. The ones that's truly, truly blessed and stuff like that. And doing wrong. The last shall be first and the first shall be last. And yes, I'm rambling because it's early in the morning. And hey, I don't know. Could be something in the air. I'll just share with y'all my grains, my wheat belly stuff. St stuff that is going to fill up some bellies cornbread grits fry some fish make some oatmeal some pancakes i like making homemade pancakes too as well as using this on um, auntie mama mix i like to make my home to make pancakes from scratch so i like doing that um i know it's somebody out there listening to all my craziness flipping from one thing to other just the old lady over here making all that rambling and fussing noise for what what's she talking about who's she talking to janita don't nobody give a damn just share your shit you go share your shit fine other than that keep it moving anyway y'all thanks for watching my hoarded adventures of the stuff that i'm collecting for this year because i don't know what the hell gonna happen at the end of the year it's gonna be some madness and i i might have to eat me a big old piece of corn I might have to snack on a big ass piece of cornbread because I didn't quit doing all that old heavy drinking years ago. I might have a sip, but anyway. So y'all have a blessed weekend. Don't forget to prep and stock and get the stuff you're going to need because it's going to be some supposedly election. I don't know, some kind of crazy riots supposed to be taking place. So y'all stay prepared, stay prayed up. Get your Keep being blessed by blessing others.
because I'm going to continue to the bless my supporters by supporting their channels, watching their videos, sharing, liking, thumbs up. And thanks for whoever going to watch this whole video because I have rambled on. I don't, probably don't even remember what the ha half of what I told. Like some folks coming here with a script, I am unscripted, raw. I don't know what I be saying to y'all until I watch this video myself. My sister used to say, don't you know what you saying in your video? I'd be like, no. Well, back to straightening the shelves up, crafting, cleaning, and whatever else. It's Fish Friday. It's Fish Friday. We having fish. Thank y'all for watching. I'm gone. I'm out. Stay blessed. Google the news. And try and watch my videos. Stream them. And then goodbye, party people. Stay blessed. Stay blessed and be a blessing. Bye. I'm going to be a hoarder for life.